the absolutely greatly written villain of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean, Father Pucci, brings us a lot of philosophical questions as to what a perfect world should look like and the age-old question, freedom or safety, anarchy or a life under strict higher-ups. Because of his actions, his beliefs, and most importantly how he handles those, I believe Pucci to be the most evil villain in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure so far. In this video I'm going to explain the character of Pucci and also why I think he's the most evil. Enrico Pucci was born with a twin brother, who he believes to be dead for 15 years. We the viewers get to know his brother as weather report or weather forecast. It is also to note that Pucci was born with a disfigured left foot, who is later healed by Dio. However, as a child, weather report was switched with another baby because the mother of a sick baby wanted one that would survive. So she basically stole the baby. After 15 years, Enrico finds out about that. A little while later, Pucci finds out that his sister, Perla, is in a relationship with Wes. Wes being weather report. After hiring a private investigator to split Perla and weather report apart, Pucci has to grieve over his sister's death as she committed suicide because the private investigator actually was part of the KKK who didn't approve of Wes or weather reports ancestry which is from a black father. They hung him at a tree but he survived. At the sight of her boyfriend hanging from this tree, Perla committed suicide. In this moment of grief, the stand arrow that Pucci received from Dio earlier pierced his neck and gave him the stand White Snake. After this event, Pucci spent a lot of time with Dio. Eventually, Dio and Pucci became very close friends. So close, in fact, that Pucci was shared a secret by Dio. The secret how to achieve heaven. Thus, the heaven's plan was forged. After Dio's demise, Jotaro burned the notes that Dio took about how to achieve heaven. So Pucci had to lure Jotaro to him so he could use his memories and find out how to achieve heaven. He did that by framing Jolene Kujo, the daughter of Jotaro, for murder, which she obviously didn't commit. Jotaro was lured to the prison where he got his memories removed. Pucci proceeded with the heaven's plan and from a finger bone of Dio, the green baby was born. After sort of merging with the green baby, Pucci developed a new stand, the stand Seamoon. With the help of Seamoon and the Joe stars, Jolene and Jotaro, Pucci was able to progress even further and develop a new stand called Made in Heaven. With that, he reset the universe to achieve his perfect world. After a lengthy fight, he is killed by Emporio. And at this point, I want to acknowledge that the video I made about the ending of Stone Ocean was wrong. I had my own theory, but many comments told me I misunderstood a couple of parts in the ending, so I acknowledge that. However, to fully understand the character of Pucci and why I think he's the most evil villain of Jojo's, we have to understand the dynamic between him and Dio. First of all, they were never in a love relationship. The whole thing between Dio and Pucci was that there was no other connection than platonic friendship. Because Dio never felt such thing as friendship. He always viewed humans as lesser. That's the reason why he just takes everything he wants from the human and his body. Often enough in a sexual way. Dio having intercourse with humans was just to show how he doesn't respect this species. By turning into a vampire, Dio thinks of himself as to have ascended humanhood. That's where the respect for Pucci from the sides of Dio come from. He's the only human that Dio felt some sort of compassion towards. This both earned Pucci Dio's respect and friendship. Pucci says to Dio, and I quote, I love you like I love God. Pucci views Dio as a god, while being a man of the Christian God. This is the first step of Pucci become the heir to evil incarnate. Dio is oftentimes viewed as the incarnation of everything that is evil. Practically, this makes him the false god. 
or a metaphor for the devil. Poochie falls for that. Poochie falls for the temptation. As a man of strong beliefs, Poochie believes that everything he does to achieve heaven is righteous. It only motivates him in killing, manipulating, etc. And now we get to the part why I think he is so evil. He is the practical embodiment of treason. Pucci betrayed everything that the Christian religion should stand for. Even if it doesn't, I don't want to have a debate about religion at that point. But in theory, he betrayed everything that is righteous. But also, at the same time, he thinks of himself to be the most righteous person there is. Up until his last breath was taken, he still wholeheartedly believes that what he did was right. While dying, Pucci tells Emporio, you don't understand. Which means that he still believes that. He still believes everything he did until this point was right. But Emporio and the others just don't understand. By effectively resetting the universe and creating his perfect world, which ultimately failed, he would have created a world where everybody is under his control. Not directly, but the universe would be shaped just like he would have wanted it. It may have brought peace, but it would have eradicated freedom entirely. And I know genocide is not really what he's doing, as the people that were alive while the universe was reset didn't all die and just lost their memory and basically spawned in a new world. But rewriting a person's memories and thought processes is kind of killing them because they become an entirely new person. This is a deeply philosophical question, but I think we can all agree that it is wrong. So, genocide. That alone is a reason to call him the most evil of the Jojo villains because he has the most kills. But that's not everything. I talked a lot about Pucci being a traitor. And as the story progresses, Pucci even betrays Dio. It comes to the point where Pucci believes that everything we do, everything that a human does, is for their own good. And only for their own good. And as he grows to acknowledge this, he basically leaves the path of Dio's teachings. From this moment onward, he only does what he's doing for himself. Not to fulfill Dio's dream, but to fulfill his own. And this is why I think Pucci is the most evil villain. His treason has no limits. Even the one who he betrayed his god for was eventually betrayed by him. And as the concept of god is a concept of belief, the belief in Dio from the sides of Pucci is very comparable to the belief in a god. It makes the reason behind his killing solely for selfish purposes. Combined with the fact that he killed about 7 billion people this makes him so evil that I just have to put him at the top of my list. Also, he inhabits a lot of characteristics from, from many other Jojo villains there are. For example, Dio's and Ka's selfishness and hunger for power. Kira's willingness to kill and some sort even feeling amusement while doing it. All in all, even if you disagree, I think we all can agree that Pucci is definitely evil. So I want to sum it up for you. Pucci betraying his beliefs and openly showing that all he does is for himself while killing a planet worth of people makes him, in my opinion, the most evil of all Jojo villains. And now in the end I want to add something that doesn't have to do anything with the topic but I think is very interesting. And this is how good the stance of Pucci fit his character. First we got Pale Snake, the ability to remove someone's memories. This perfectly fits as in the time where he has Pale Snake, he grieves a lot about the past, the death of his sister and the fact that his brother weren't present most of his life, which he then had to take the, his memories from to keep him and his surroundings safe. Next we got Seamoon and his ability to control and center gravity on Pucci. While Pucci has Simun, he is in this very egotistical state already. It represents the present, as Pale Snake represented the past. The focus is literally on him. He is the center 
of the gravity. This perfectly reflects his egotism. And then there's Made in Heaven. Made in Heaven represents the future. The future Pucci longs for. His ability to speed up time and basically travel into the future is the point that represents that. And I just told you that because I think it's a neat little detail. And with that, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. It would really help me out. And please tell me what you think about Pucci and what you think about what I have to say about him. And I hope to see you in the next one.